Hello, Nick Anderson here, Bank News Media again. I'm going to be painting Donald Trump. I had a drawing earlier. I was showing you how to draw this. I'm going to move this over a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. And um, I just created another layer to put my line art on to protect it. Make it invisible, or make it so I can see through it. And now I'm going to start painting, digitally painting Trump in his orange skin. Turn down my music a little bit. Hopefully, you can't hear that too much. I use Corel Painter. And the weird, the strange thing about him is he's got that orange skin, but around his eyes, it's kind of white around the eyes and around the lips, from his fake tan, I guess. Put those little things around over your eyes to protect your eyes. Make him real bright. Cheeto Mussolini. I'm using an acrylic brush variant right now, and I switch back and forth. I switch to a uh, watercolor sometimes, adding a little shading with the watercolor. Going back to acrylic. Add a little white in here to get a little, give it a little uh, shape. A little highlight. Forgot to save. So I, his hands don't seem as orange to me. So I tend to make those a little bit more flesh tone. Plus it makes his face that much more strange looking. Add a little shadow with my watercolor. See that all right? Yeah.
You may have noticed a lot of cartoonists give that, uh, he wears a lot of red ties and wears them too long. Brush is too thick. So when you see me hitting my keyboard, when I'm on the watercolor variant, I'm drying the paint and that way when I paint over it again, it makes it darker. So I'm going to put him, his clothing, his suit on a different layer. Nice thing about working in different layers. If I mess up, I can, I'm not messing up the layer I already have. So I can work on this layer. If I need to make a correction to it, I can do it without making any uh, <coughs> corrections or mistakes on the layer on the work I've already done. That's safe. I can even lock it if I want. to create a lot of layers for that reason. Go grab my watercolor now. Add more definition. You can see this brush just has a different character. Has a more defined edge. I used to use this brush almost exclusively, but it gets to be a little bit of overkill.
If you have anything in particular you'd like to see, you can put it in the comments, and next time I post, I'll try to remember to address it. If you have any questions... Two tone. I'm going to take that out. So the watercolor is still quote wet. I haven't dried it yet, so I can go back and take out the part that I just put in without disturbing the previous layer. And same thing here, but this because it's on a different layer, I'm going to get rid of the gray around the hands. And I think I need a little highlight in here. So I'm going to add a little white, just like a little reflection. very well. Alright. I need another layer. So let's say I go a little too far with this and I think I overdid it and I can reduce the opacity on that layer. I think I'm going to do and I'm going to delete some of the uh, some of the gray has overlapped this uh, red cleaning that up a little bit and in here too redo that. I need a little bit of sh shadow there. And make that a little bit darker. I think that will uh, do it for now. I'm going to finish this up and I will have it posted later on today. Thank you for joining me.